Yeah, the Celtic Manor Resort uh, is a large resort, uh, 1,400 acres, uh, situated in South Wales, uh, about two hours from London. Uh, we're a, a golf resort. We have the, the Ryder Cup uh, at the resort next October, which is where the world's largest golfing uh, event. Uh, we were a conferencing event. We, we hold large conferences uh, throughout the year. Uh, we also have a lot of other leisure facilities, including spas, uh, five restaurants, uh, children's clubs. So really, we cater for a lot of different markets. Oh, the Ryder Cup, as I said, is, uh, is the biggest um, golfing event. Uh, it's one of the, the largest sporting events in terms of TV viewership in the world. Uh, and that event will be taking place at Celtic Manor next October, October the 1st to the 3rd. Um, and we're, we're prepared for the event by uh, building a course specifically to host the Ryder Cup. We're the first venue ever to have done that. That course opened back in uh, November, um, July 2007 along with a new clubhouse. And that's been open for play now for about two and a half years and we're seeing uh, people from all over the world come to, to play at, on the course. Yeah, I mean, the first thing as part of the bid process was we committed to building the course uh, specifically to host the Ryder Cup and that took into account um, viewing for hospitality guests, for spectators, uh, but also logistics. You know, there's 45,000 people a day at the Ryder Cup uh, and we have to move those around. Uh, everyone comes in, park and ride, so we've had to build coach parks. Uh, we've built, as I said, a new course, a new clubhouse, practice ground. Uh, we're just in the process of building a, a two, two million pound bridge over the River Usk to reach the new practice ground. So there has been a, a, an investment of somewhere in the region of 16 million pounds uh, just on the, the Ryder Cup facility. Uh, very good. Um, obviously we're here to raise the profile of Celtic Manor as a, a venue for conference and events. Uh, we've met some of our existing clients, uh, and we've also met some new clients, which is good. So uh, hopefully we'll follow up those leads now and bring some more events to us. Yeah, we, we do now. We tend to, to uh, be at all the, all the shows to, to make sure our profile is, you know, we're out there and we're seen. Uh, we do Confex, we do this show, and actually at the same time of this show, we've got people down in London doing square meal venue and events. Um, so yeah, we do, we do all the major uh, exhibitions. Some are probably stronger than others, um, but certainly we have found that uh, we, we get good leads and as long as we follow them up and pursue them, then we do get uh, enough business out of them to, to certainly cover the cost of, of being at the show, if not more. We've had a lot of budding Tiger Woods come over and uh, try and beat the, uh, the current target, which I think is about 320 metres. So, um, yeah, it's been a, a big draw.